Mally Sky by Jodie Towring and Tanya Harricks. The first people of the land call the Mali Nawi. It means sunset country. When the sun goes down, the red heat of the day bleeds into the sky and sets it on fire. More stars shine over the Mali than anywhere in the world. On a clear night, the inky sky comes alive with stars. It looks like a city to me, strange and wonderful. In the morning, baby galahs croak in the hollows of vast gums. The unforgiving sun that ripens the crops beats down early in the mallee. The summer sky is big and blue. In this country, silos take the place of towns. Tall and windowless, ever reaching towards the blue along the lonely highways. It shimmers and the bitumen melts, the red dirt cracks, the scrub sighs, still and thirsty. The wind is too hot and tired to raise more than a whisper through the eucalypts. Seasons seem to come and go. But no rain falls from the Mallee sky. It is dry forever. The sun beats down relentless. Baths are short and the dam drops. They call it drought. The storms swirl from nowhere without warning. Mum whirls past with the red dust, shutting the windows and tearing the clothes from the line. The light is eerie, red golden, strange, neither night nor day. Time stops. Today, Dad stands on the veranda, scanning the selfish blue for signs of rain. Mum's hopes for the harvest wither in the parched paddocks, then turn to dust on the wind. The crops have died. The drought lasts too long. Unrelenting sun cracks the earth. Ancient gums perish where they stand. Grey, ghost-like. A memory of themselves. Dams dry up, shop doors close. Friends move away and teams disband. Parts of the farm are sold and lost. People pass on too. They drift away beyond the clouds in the bright blue Mallee sky. One day we hear a sound on a tin roof at school. It is strange and drumming. We run to the windows to look. The rains have come. The whole school stops and runs outside to dance in the hot, wet rain. Teachers too. The smell of long-awaited rain, earthy and sweet, will always be the best smell in the world.
As days pass, blue gives way to welcome grey, while paddocks turn to carpets of green beneath the laden sky. Dry gums gasp, drinking deeply. Absent birds slowly return to make homes in their branches once more. The drought has broken. Crops grow again, tall and thick, waving seas of barley and wheat. 